So David, tell us, what would you say are top five things to know about storing food? Store what you eat and eat what you store. Another item that's important is to store items that store well. Another item is to keep the critters out, things that would devour them or spoil them. Keep the oxygen out. That helps to preserve it properly. And then finally, keep it cool. All right, so we're going to go more in depth into each of these points next. When people think of food storage, sometimes they think of, you know, like green, grains, you know, like wheat berries or something. If you're going to store those things and you don't know how to use them, then the thing to do is learn to use them so that you can use them. The purpose of eating what you're storing is so that you're cycling the things. So what you do is you have one container, one bucket, say, that's open that you're using from. But then you can have as many stacked behind that as you want to. What items actually store well? All right, the items that store the best are grains and beans. And what about nuts? Can I store nuts too? You can store nuts, but they require more um, attention or more care because of the oil content and so they don't store as well or as easily. Is there a way, that, what's the best way to actually store them? The best way to store the nuts is some refrigeration, keeping them, keeping them cool. But the easy things are beans the and grains. The easy things are beans and grains. They store very easily with minimal um, provision. You can store those for you know, substantially extended periods of time. All right, so I got some black beans here that I'm gonna pour. This is a big bag of beans. Hopefully I don't struggle. Oh yeah. Okay, so one of the features is you wanna keep the critters out. Yes. Now, a paper bag, if there happen to be rodents or some kind of bugs in the area where you're storing things, they can get into a paper bag. Yeah. So, you use a bucket to make a more, you know, rodent-proof barrier. Yes. And so, so, so basically you're just trying to keep out creatures that would either devour your food or contaminate your food. Mm -hmm. So you just need some kind of barrier to accomplish that. There's another aspect that, that is beneficial. There's a product called diatomaceous earth and it's, it's basically calcium is my understanding. So if you just take about a quarter of a cup of diatomaceous earth mm -hmm. and sprinkle it on the top of your product and then just shake it to kind of distribute it through the product. Then when you open the sealed product, when you're ready to use that container, it's going to be getting some oxygen in it. And so depending on how rapidly you use that, it's helpful to have something that's preserving that product as well. Amazing. Okay, so now the fourth step is to keep the oxygen out. So the, the oxygen deteriorates the product and a couple common ways of keeping the oxygen out are oxygen absorbers, which come in a pack and there, there's different size oxygen absorbers. So you want to get one, this is a 2000 cc uh, oxygen absorber that has the capacity to absorb the oxygen in a five gallon bucket. So just put this on the top of the product after you put the diatomaceous earth on it. But these oxygen absorbers, where can you find these? You, we sell them at Country Life. All right, okay. we sell them at Country Life. We sell one that's a, a 2000 cc, which is good for a gallon, I mean okay. for a five gallon bucket. We also sell a 500 cc, which can be used in a one gallon bucket. Okay. So what happens if you put a lot of them? Is that bad? Like, what happens? It's just not necessary. Okay, okay so now that we're all done with that, now it's time to seal it. Okay, so we just put that on and right. and seal it. Now, <laughs> if you don't have a rubber mallet, yeah. What if we don't exactly? What if we don't have a rubber mallet? And how strong do you need to be to be able to seal these? <laughs> if you don't have a rubber mallet, you can just use a block of wood and a regular hammer. Ah. You just need something that's going to distribute the yeah pressure a little bit so that you're not, you know, because yeah. it might break the bucket if you gotcha. really whack it with a regular hammer. Okay. So a gamma lid has a, 
screw on Ooh, thread. This is the kind I would like. So you just put <laughs> the ring on. And you use yeah. the same method for putting the ring on it that uh -huh. you did with the buckets. You just, oh, so you still need you the just, mount. All you right. just pound it on. Uh -huh. And then you screw the gamma lid in. Now, yeah. this then becomes easily accessible. Yes, this one you need to like pry it open you or something? You have to pry it open every time. Ah, so these now, are nicer. Like what that. The thing to do is to have one gamma lid for each product. So say you have five buckets of black beans. You have one that has a gamma lid on it. That's the one you're using from. Okay. You can have the others sealed with the regular lid because they probably seal a little bit better and so they'll you know, keep their oxygen seal for over a period of time. So this is the one that you want to use for some of the, the items you plan to use first. Correct. And Correct. where can you get these? You can also get these at Country Life. get these at Country Life. All right, Country right. Life has got it all. Okay, so the last and final step after all this is we just have to keep it cool. Right, keep it cool. So that's simply a matter of putting it in a location that's, you know, not excessively warm. Higher temperatures cause chemical reactions to take place more rapidly. So you, you don't need like refrigeration, it no. just needs to be somewhere cool and dry. Right. Okay. So, the, so what if you live in like a humid area? Once this is sealed, the humidity isn't too much of a problem. And the diatomaceous earth actually helps with mold. Okay. Just from our experience, it seems like, and I don't know exactly why that is, it seemed like the diatomaceous earth made a big difference as far as that once you've opened the bucket. Yeah. Before you open the bucket, it isn't really an issue, but once uh, you open the bucket and using the gamma seal, yeah. it's going to be getting some air right. and so forth. Okay, that's good to know. So now you know our five tips of how to properly store food. For all your bulk food needs and basic storage needs, Country Life Foods has got you covered. And we have free shipping over orders of $99 or more.